Hi guys, my name is Muna and I'll be doing all things natural hair, fashion, beauty and lifestyle. Today's video is inspired by Vogue, of course, as you can see in the title. These videos are just very soothing and relaxing and I hope this video that I'm about to show you does the same thing to you. If you enjoy those kinds of videos, you definitely enjoy this one. I hope you enjoy this video. So... Without further ado, let's just go into the video. Hi. Yeah. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been watching those kind of videos of recent and I decided to do my own. So what I'll be doing is a guide to my skincare routine and my everyday makeup routine. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. I really love how subtle and simple those videos are because it's not really planned or it doesn't seem planned or it doesn't seem scripted it's just something that um, they do or i think they do in their bathroom or in their beauty room or whatever it's just nice and relaxing it's a relaxing thing to watch and i hope mine is going to be like that i just thought that since i have a youtube channel now i just do my own video so I'm heading out in a few, I'm heading out in the next hour or two and I decided to do my skincare routine on camera, my skincare routine and then my makeup. I already washed my face and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with the Skin by Zaron Brightening Toner. So this is right after washing my face. I'm just going to put that into a cutting pad. I hope you can see that yeah so once it's kind of damp i use that to just go all over my face yeah so i just go all over it just helps to remove every extra dirt in my skin and it preps my skin for a great makeup Sometimes you wash your face like twice and you don't think that there's something on your face until you do this. <laughs> I think that's like why I really love this product because it cleanses the extra dirt that your hand or your face sponge cannot remove. Yeah, just go everywhere. And also behind my ears. I don't know why, but I like to do this behind my ears as well. Like I said, I promise I'm not a dirty person. So we just pack that into the skin. Ooh. I love the way it feels on my face, to be honest. It just sits in. I think I keep hitting my mic. <laughs> it just sits in and I can feel the effect. I can feel my face cleaning up. I don't know what that means, but something is happening on my face and I like it. Just a close of view. So after the toner, I would go in with this Fenty Fat Water. This size is the travel size. So whenever I stay in a hotel or or an apartment that is not mine, I just carry it along. It's really small and portable i like it so i just slap that on my face just put that all over my face slap it into the skin and let your skin absorb it so the next is this yves rocher moisturizer this was given to me in PR and I've been obsessed with it ever since. Okay, yeah, I've used quite a lot. So I'm just going to take a little because a little goes a long way. Ooh. So I'm take a little and yeah, just rub that all over my face because all these things I'm putting on my skin it's, it's a good prep for the makeup that is gonna 
that I'm going to apply and it helps it stay longer you know it helps the makeup sit in longer in your skin and not just on your skin if that makes any sense yeah thumbnail so once that's done i think i'm done with skin i would put on sunscreen but it's like 7 p.m now and everywhere is dark so i don't think i need the sunscreen now some people might not agree with that but here's my sunscreen it's remaining a little so i mean i want to save it that's all for skincare my face is moisturized it's smooth it's ready for makeup i'm gonna go in with this fenty primer fenty beauty primer let's put a little let's put more here take this and put on the places where you know oil tends to be right so just it's gonna rub that in this makeup is not going anywhere because do you know how much we prepared for it and then i'll just put a little vaseline on my lip because i don't want to be talking to y'all with dry lips <laughs> Usually I'll use a lip balm, but I don't know where my lip balm is right now. Make sure you let your primer dry. Primer is going to sit in. And then when it's finally dry, we'll proceed with our makeup. So I'm going for a, like a hangout, like a mini party. I don't know. And I don't want to do too much on my face. Basically, this is what I do for my face everywhere I go. I don't know what other makeup routine is out there. I don't know how to do other makeup routines. This is my makeup routine. This is my everyday makeup routine. So these are the things that I do for my makeup. So where I'm going to is not serious, which is perfect for this kind of routine. Because sometimes I'll be going for a wedding or for something a little bit more, you know, gang gang. I would have to maybe double up on foundation or double up on concealer just so my makeup can pop sometimes i don't do that sometimes i try to do that and then i mess everything up <laughs> but this is the kind of makeup that i'm great at this setting powder is from beauty by ad why i like this powder is that it's pink in it but like it just works so i watched something from jackie i guess i think it's from jackie Ina before she put foundation and whatever she set her face after her primer so that's what we're gonna do here i've been doing that and it has been working for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this fluffy brush i don't know if this is a foundation brush but i like this brush and then i'm going to just set my face with um this setting translucent powder yeah I look like a clown, but not for long. Not for long. And then I go in with this Beauty by AD setting spray. I don't know where the cover is, but we're just gonna work with that. Set my set the translucent powder that I just, you know, put on my face. I don't know if I'm setting it, but like this is what I do. I'm not sure of the order. That's just what works. Yeah. So just let that dry. Let that sit in. So I'm going to go in with this Fenty concealer to just correct dark spots on my, my face. Yeah, so just put that anywhere, this, the dark spots, basically. And then I just blend that out. Just blend out. So there isn't any. Blend that out this skin tint i'm not i'm not so heavy on foundation so i'd rather just use a skin tint it's much lighter it's lightweight and it's just perfect for me i like to put my makeup at the back of my hand 
just so he doesn't mess things up. Skin tint. It's not so much, so. Ooh, that's a lot. Is it? Maybe it's not. So I like to use this brush first to just to spread that everywhere. I mean, this product is like my favorite product because this is just skin. It's just skin, as you can see. It's just skin. It's not extra. It's not an extra product. It doesn't do too much. It just does right. So beautiful. Well, Rihanna really snapped with this. Then I put it all on my neck too. And then I go in with a powder puff and just blend any extra. I try not to put the foundation or skin tint under my eye because that's for concealer and I don't want like products to be under my eye so I just blend here we are our face is set for our base is set and this is already pretty, but we're not done yet. We're not done. I'm going to be using two concealer. <laughs> First is the Fenty, like I used in the beginning, and Clinique concealer. Yeah, the method of application is very important. What we're going to do first is the dark shade here. We're not doing too much, remember. And then the light shade at the edge of your eye, at the edge of your eye. And yeah, and then we're going to use this light shade to under your cheekbone. Under your cheekbone. So it's subtle. Just the way I like it. And this is the um, contour we're going to be using. It's Fenty. Most of my products are Fenty, actually, in Espresso. What I heard is that it's not good to apply your contour like directly. So what I've been doing recently, I mean, I learn new makeup hacks every day. So I'm putting you guys on something. So what I do now is that I get a brush. I'm not sure if this brush is good for contour but i get a brush and i take out the contour from the stick with the brush and just go in i don't oh must have messed up my concealer just going not too much but we're not doing too much here so and another key to a good contour is to blend up, not down. So we're just gonna do that. I think I'm messing up somehow. And then we're gonna go over the head. I'm not sure you can see it, but that's the po that's the whole point. Everything is supposed to be subtle. Our concealer is dried. It's it has settled in the skin, so we're gonna blend. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is use a brush. Ooh! The first thing we're gonna do is use this brush to blend, and then we use a powder puff to just finish up the blending. So we start with the dark, so light strokes, but. Okay, together. 
getting somewhere <laughs> I still look a little crazy so just trust the process okay and then we'll do the other side trust the process I look ridiculous now but just trust the process go over with here just like that sort of yeah. I think we're good with the brush and then we we'll go over with the with this and just blend blend everywhere it's coming together I like it it's not just the product it's your blending power and how patient you are with blending because blending takes a lot of patience so i'm just gonna blend everywhere look at that cheekbone all right yeah i think we're good with the concealer you like and i'm aware that i'm not using the correct brushes but we're just going to use what we have okay so we're going to take this brush and just walk around the nose contour yeah so take this a little of that and then just all the way down to the bone structure of the nose right just follow the shadow to be honest that's what i'm doing i'm just following the shadow i'm not sure if you can see that but the whole point is for you to be subtle with everything so going in with my translucent powder i'm going to set my case now so I saw another hack on TikTok. TikTok is really, is really the boss here. So what you're gonna do is I take translucent powder and rub it at the back of your hand, just so it gets like a good finish. And then just go over where your concealer is, so it's more smooth. Just gonna go over the where my concealer is and. Just set, 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 set my forehead as well. It's time for brows. I'm using this q tip to just remove any extra makeup products. I'm gonna take the edge contour is already out, so I'm just gonna get a little of that and use that to relax my brows. Not using a relaxer per se, but just you know, bring them out, bring them out. And then I take a brown pencil and just create some brows. It's just easy. If you have the weird brows like mine, it's a good hack for you, of course. Yeah, it's not doing too much, it's just. I'm just gonna feel the edge and not worry about the front. Just feel the edge. Yeah, and we're done with that. Brush it. We're not using any concealer under nothing. It looks natural and simple. Yay! Next up is this blush from Beauty by AD here. I'm using this color. Oh, it's disgusting. So first, I'm going to go with the blush brush first. 
and there's just a pie and then I'll blend it later just apply right on your cheekbone and then at the other side see life just came into my face just makes it look like I'm healthy and then I just do it on my nose and then I use a puff to just blend blend it out nothing too dramatic just just a clean brush clean blush <laughs> eyes i don't know the mats of you know of eye shadow i don't know how to do that i need to learn so i'm using this fenty mascara there it is to just bring out my eyelashes because that's going to be the style of the show bring that out there my eyes are alive now and then i get my take this powder even fluffier brush and i i just use that all over my face to just even out everything Our face is done. Oh wait, one more thing. The setting spray. Setting spray, yes. And just spray that all over my face. Just last. Just trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. Okay. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go over to the lips. And that's the final look. Lip pencil from Zaron in the shade boat yeah just two line lip oh i love this color i just gonna see that all around i'm gonna let you in on another hack so this brow gel by nuban beauty i'm just gonna use that to line the already lined lip with this Thin. I is like a tester, like a lip applicator text tester from Essenza. I just took it home. So I'm just gonna put that over the already lined lip. It'll we're not doing we're not going crazy with this. Okay. Looking good. Cream gloss, fancy cream, lip gloss. Yeah, I don't know what this shade is. It's Fenty Gloss Gloss Bomb Cream. <laughs> okay, so it's a lip cream, basically. So just put that all over. And this color is so pretty. I'm just gonna go in with this Zaron luxurious lip gloss i don't know what shade this is something correct it's very thick and very pink not not very pink very nude and very thick so i like it. and then we're gonna go in with this fancy gloss balm um i don't know what shade this is to be honest i can't find it and i'm running late so just use that all over that's a beautiful color and we're done so that's all i have for you guys i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.